everybody. Welcome. All right. So uh, first and foremost, I'd like to introduce my couch, Gus Cypher. I'm Cypher. How's it Cal- going? Sinister Mr. One. And yeah, they'll do most of the commentary, as I'll just be trying to just, yeah, <laughs> play the game. But right, so I'm playing the Japanese version, so, meaning that, uh, so yeah, well, Sinister, you can take it away. But yeah, I'm all right. Gonna, <laughs> so, but yeah, I'm we'll gonna, explain everything. Don't worry, guys. Right. So, uh, Cool Kid is ready to start. So let's get him uh, counted down in five, four, three, two, one, go! All right, serious time. That's enough. <laughs> no, seriously. This uh, Airman is one of the trickier stages. Cool Kid is right away going to have to do some very, very dangerous jumps. So I'm going to be quiet while he does that. Just take some. All right. <laughs> yeah, so I'm playing. All right, he made it. All right. <laughs> this part is a little tricky too, but not uh, quite yeah. as critical. Yeah, this part's not as bad. So he's, he's getting very far to the right here because he wants to uh, spawn these guys as early as possible. That's why you see him doing that jump over to the right and then coming back. So by spawning those guys earlier, obviously, you've got to use their platforms to kind of traverse your way across this open air section. And he's going to have one more enemy. This one's a little tricky. Very nice. OK, great. All right, so that's, that's, the, that's the trickier part of the level. So um, as Cool Kid mentioned earlier, he is playing on the Japanese version of this game, which is Rockman 2. That essentially means that uh, your weapons deal half as much damage as they would in Mega Man 2. So he's going to have to shoot the bosses uh, 14 times, for instance, if he's using Buster, which obviously he's going to be doing in this first fight against Airman. Uh, you do make up a lot of time, though, in the cutscenes. The cutscenes are a lot faster. That's the main reason to play on this version. And, of course, we are starting out with Airman because Airman has item two, right. which item two is actually the key item in this category. Right. Uh, Zipless item two is, is really, really important. Uh, you can use it a lot to kind of reach certain areas and obviously get through certain sections quicker. So coming up on Airman, Airman's got five different patterns that he can open with. Two are favorable, one's kind of medium, and two are not so great. That's a good favorable pattern. Cool Kid going to take some intentional damage. One more intentional hit there, and oh. that is the end of Airman. Beautiful pattern. Right, so I, so I didn't really explain what category we're doing right now, or what I'm doing for this run, and uh, so, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so I'm playing uh, Zipless, which, us- which uses a uh, very different route compared to uh, the uh, yeah the regular run with Zips. Yeah, so the Zips route uh, plays through. Flashman, Heatman, and Airman first to get all the items right away. But in this category, you can't make as uh, much use of item one to save a lot of time through zips. So we do uh, a different route that is more focused on getting the, the boss weaknesses in a more traditional manner. Now, he is going to go to quick second. This is another really, really difficult stage. But after he gets quick man's weapon, then he is going to go ahead and use a lot of the, the weakness order. So we are going to get to see a lot of fancy item two placements, though, hopefully. Uh, this level, you do have to manage your health very well because Quick Man is an incredibly difficult fight with only the Buster as your weapon. Again, you have to you have to get 14 shots in, and that room is really awkward and stilted. So right now, he's just trying to avoid these lasers. No problem. He's going to switch on over to item two, hopefully get this item two placed at just the right height. That looks good. And he's going to be able to get over some of these enemies. Nice. Going to have to take some intentional damage from this last guy here, but that's okay. That guy doesn't sit, doesn't hit so hard. It's really the uh, enemies at the end of the stage that he has to worry about. So not having Time Stopper here, of course, you got to just be careful going through this section. Those lasers are a one-hit KO. Don't want to get touched by those. Thankfully, Cool Kid knows where they're coming from. Let's just hope he doesn't go for the death jump. <laughs> it's very terrifying. Saves a couple frames. Okay, good. Ah. <laughs> I thought he was going to go for it. I was it. worried, I man. Thought, I, I thought was he was going to go for it, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tricky setup coming up here. All right, looking good. He's going to take some intentional damage there, use his iframes to get through that second enemy, and he is on to Quick Man. So he's got enough health, but uh, Quick Man, again, he's going to deal four damage with either his boomerangs or if you take a body shot from him. So you do have to be a little careful here. All right, not the most favorable start. 
The reason this fight's so awkward is you have to be on the same level as Quick Man to be able to hit him with Buster, which is not the case with Crash Man's weapon in, Nor in Zips. And that was... Cool Kid made some really good adjustments there. He did not get a very favorable pattern at all, so great job on that fight. Yeah, and as you can see, he had uh, not too much health ending there, so it's definitely a tough fight. So where am I going again? Metal. <laughs> <laughs> he's just testing yeah, us, guys. Test. He's, just, he's just making sure that, uh, you know. I'm surprised you tested Sinister, <laughs> not me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Metal Man, uh, we're going to start out here taking a little bit of damage, and he's going to have to do some really tight movement to get through this area. You want to skip as many of these crushers as possible. So looks like he is clear. By the way, th this run is dedicated to all the YouTube warriors who always ask to see the runs played without big skips and zips. So shout out to all <laughs> you guys. <laughs> In all seriousness, though, this is, uh, I think, the most popular category for this game, actually. So people, people really do love it, and I think it's the first time it's been featured in GDQ, so it's really nice to see it. Yep. Cool Kid switching on over to item two. He's going to just do a big old item two fly across the top of the screen here. Just has to be careful not to place it too high. If you place it too high, it'll actually despawn, but he's got a good height. Jumping through these enemies, they actually don't have hitboxes until they land on their wheels, so that's why he's able to do that without getting hit. And going to switch on over to Quick Boomerang, which is, of course, Metal Man's weakness. Metal Man has three different patterns that he can do, but uh, Cool Kid is going to do a couple jumps at the beginning of the fight, which will evade whichever pattern happens to occur. And he got two Metal Blades and nice jumps. Shot one boomerang to the left just for the heck of it. Yeah, styling. So that was actually a slight adjustment because if you get too far to the right near Metal Man, he'll jump to the left side of the screen and waste some time, so you don't want to get too far close to him. <clears throat> All right, where are we going now, Cypher? Uh, we're going to there. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. All right, Bubble Man, who is, of course, weak to Metal Blade. And we are going to go ahead and use item two. Go ahead and fly across this section with these uh, toad enemies. Cool Kid taking some intentional damage there. And he is to safety. So he's going to break out the Metal Blade. And uh, he's going to have some enemies to kill. Hopefully they don't have too many drops. But he can avoid the drops anyway. In Rock Man 2, you, uh, you get drops much less frequently than you would in Mega Man 2. So you're going to see all of this section, which you normally skip in the Zips run. Oh, missed oh. one shot there. Those guys actually hit pretty hard, but... Oh, uh, yeah, they hit like a truck. For I guess they're sort of mini-bosses, they're big enemies, but they hit you like 10 damage or 12 damage or something. Yeah, it's quite a bit. Thankfully, you don't need a ton of health for the Bubble Man fight. Oh, Very yeah. nice jump there. That's a really tight jump to get. That's very dangerous also. You can hit your head on the spikes, but Cool Kid got just the right uh, positioning there, so he survived. And very nice mashing there. Look at that. Nice. Those things take 10 shots. So Bubble Man also has three patterns, but unlike Metal Man, some of his patterns are less favorable, uh, most notably the three bubble pattern, which causes quite a bit of lag. So we're hoping to see a one bubble or a two bubble pattern. You think we're just going to see anything spicy here? I don't know, man. I'm, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Hold your breath, crowd. All right, ah. we got the three bubble. So there is some lag. Oh! oh! <laughs> that double KO. The so, man is feeling confident. That is not just for style points. Cool Kid actually will save a little bit of time because he's exiting the screen from a much higher position. That's so, actually saved so, 20 frames. Yeah, 20 frames right there, guys. You saw it. All right, so now that we have Bubble, we can head on into Heat Man, who is, of course, weak to Bubble. And this is one of those stages where you're going to get to see a lot of item two usage. Not right away. This, this early section, it's mainly just, you know, don't fall in the lava. Pretty simple stuff. A couple enemies to get out of the way. Just some platforming. Little one tile wide uh, pillars. Yeah, the good stuff is in the second long section in this stage. Coming up in a little bit. 
Yeah, that's one thing you definitely miss with the zips is you skip that whole section. So yeah, I was gonna say I, I I do personally prefer the zips around in this game, but this section coming up has some really cool item two usage. And uh, another thing about item two, you can see Cool Kid has used two item twos, but he hasn't lost any item two energy yet. That's because he placed them very close to a wall. And uh, very nice dodging on that enemy there. That's pretty tricky. So you want to leave yourself with enough item two so that you can get across the uh, lava section and skip the Yoku blocks altogether. Definitely a section that terrorized a lot of people when they were playing this game as kids. Mm -hmm. You always want to have item two here. So Cool Kid's got plenty of item two energy. He's going to be able to make it all the way across. No problem. Yeah. I'll see you one up. <clears throat> That, that was really good. I'm actually not wasting any ammo at all, so that was great. Yeah, that was a great stage. Really well done. And uh, thankfully, Heat Man is only going to take uh, seven shots here from Bubble. Is it seven? It's, no, it's five, right? Is it five? Okay, yeah. sorry. Yeah, and, and in uh, oh, he got the run. He got the Bubble Head. In the bubble fit. Head number two, coming up. No. Oh, he missed it. In this run, it, this, this guy takes 14 hits, and so there's a random component where he'll take 30, 60, or 90 frames to start charging at you. And when the fight goes on much longer, um, there's a much more random component. All right. So now we're going to come a little longer cutscene, so probably a good idea to throw, throw it over to host some donations. All right. We have a few donations here. We have $30 from Mr. Eric Adam saying, what is Mega Man's favorite classic rock band? Rush. Yeah! <laughs> We have $150 from T-Turtle. My man had to donate during the Mega Man block, and especially for Cool Kid, running my favorite category of Mega Man 2. Good luck on the run, CK. No mercy for Wily. Thank you very much. All right, keep on going, actually. Flash Man stage is uh, it's pretty basic. <laughs> All right, we've got $40 from Atari's. Classic Mega Man is best. I've been playing Mega Man 2 all week, so have to donate during Cool Kids Run. We have $200 from Thunder Carnival. Really enjoyed the Rockman Infinity Run and looking forward to GDQ's first Mega Man 11 run. Let's hit that two mil, folks. All right, so uh, the main reason for saving Flashman for so much later in the run is actually the menus. You, you don't want his item in the menus because you'll have to scroll by it quite a bit. Uh, so that's why he's put a little bit later. Uh, he is weak to Metal Blade. He'll go down in seven shots. Uh, the stage is, is pretty straightforward, though. You just kind of have to know where to go. Uh, cool Kid going to break out item two, get a little fancy there. That's a little bit faster. And you do get to save a little bit of time here as well, using the item two to fly across this section. If you can use the <laughs> full amount of item two fly, I think it's about a three second time save versus walking. You don't get to use the full thing here, but you know you probably save a couple seconds by that. And one more usage there. Very nice. And we're going to break out the Metal Blade. This, this fight's not quite as stylish with Metal Blade because it's over so quickly, but it's still pretty nice. Yeah, it's roughly equivalent to the normal mode fight with Buster. Oh, wow. OK, Cool Kid made it stylish just there. Yeah, yeah. There are some fancy nice, upward shots. Nice but, up uh, throw. Yeah, yeah. All right, so two stages remaining. Um, it doesn't matter which which one of these two I go into next, but I'm going to choose going to Woodman next and play Clash last. So, yeah. And these two of the best stages for last. Yeah, yeah. So Woodman's stage is actually, uh, it's got some, some tricky elements to it, but Cool Kid is going to get to use the one weapon you can actually charge in this game. You can, you can charge up Heat Man's weapon and uh, it deals quite a bit of damage. Takes out some of the harder enemies. Oh, nice birds. Nice birds. So you can actually spawn birds on the Robot Master screen right there by just holding A. <clears throat> All right, this guy's, this first guy's got to go. Hmm. The next guy's OK, though. Uh, cool Kid going to do some jumps to manipulate these carrots as well so that they don't uh, get shot towards him. And a very nice jump over that one. That's, it's, it's, it's really tight to jump over those guys. So these big dog enemies are really what you need this, this heat weapon for. Take them out, gonna switch on over to Time Stopper, use that. And there would be two more of those dogs that would spawn in each of these respective screens, but fortunately, Time Stopper takes care of that. And then of course it's time to break out everybody's favorite item, item two. 
And another thing to note is you can actually grab these ladders in such a way that you can get a boost off of the ladder. If you can grab it off screen by, by pressing down, you'll kind of get a slight upward boost. So this section is really tricky here. Cool Kid gonna do a nice high placement there. He's gotta do a tight jump here, face the other way to get the bird to spawn, despawn the bird, despawn the other bird, and he is through that screen. That was very nice. Well done. <laughs> He's going to be able to just kind of jump over these last few enemies. Oh, oh, maybe not that guy. Man, those guys' hitbox are so big. They are. They're massive. And now it's time for ground chicken. Got to get <laughs> ground chicken. Come on. <laughs> Can he get it? No. Oh, man, it's tough. Sorry, guys. No ground chicken for you. <laughs> <laughs> Catch it in the next Zipless run in 2025. Yeah. And just a reminder, the reason Cool Kid is using air is because uh, one charged up heat shot would not be enough to do Woodman in, unlike a uh, normal mode of this game. So you do have to use the air weapon. Very fast fight. Nicely done. Yeah, there is a tiny bit of randomness in that fight where uh, one of the earlier shots um, can go off screen more quickly depending on like your exact pixel placement and he got the fastest despawn for the tornadoes there. <laughs> All right, final Robot Master stage coming in, Clash Man. This stage is a doozy. Yeah, there's a lot going. You get to use all three of your items in this stage. So Cool Kid's going to be getting pretty fancy here. He's going to start with item two. Got to take some intentional damage there to get past these guys. And then he has a pretty tight placement here. You can't place it too far over. It'll despawn. Another one there. He's going to grab that ladder, get the ladder boost. Place that nice and high. Nice dodging of that shot. And he's got to jump over this last enemy. Got it. Great job. All right, now it's time for item one. Mm. I like me some item one. It's funny how you almost never see item one in this category, even though it's so ubiquitous in some of the other categories. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of upward climbing now. So you're gonna you're gonna see all the item ones get used here. Now, you don't have quite as many as you would in some other categories, so Cool Kid gonna just save some. He wants to make sure he has three for this next screen so he can get all the way up to the top of the screen. Time to switch on over to item three, and uh, he's got some very precise item three drops to do. So these are very tricky. There's a four pixel window, every recurring tile, where you can th throw the item three and you can land on it instantaneously. And so you want to do that uh, periodically through these screens. And he got every single one perfectly. He's got one more. Oh, oh the, the commentator's curse. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, cool kid. <laughs> All right, so now Cool Kid is going to do what's known as the Prizzy Strat. He's going to shoot a shot immediately at the start of the fight to the left. That's going to force Clash Man to jump at him. There's two different jumps that Clash Man can do, and Cool Kid has to adjust very quickly to which one he does. He gets the long jump. Didn't quite get the double there, but he did still get a fast kill, so nice adjustment there. Good fight. All right, so that was the eighth and final row with Master. I don't think we have time for a couple of more donations. All right. We have a $200 donation from Rosard. Mega Man was my favorite series growing up, and 2 was my favorite of the series. So happy to see it get destroyed in record pace. Let's keep the donations coming. We have a $1,000 donation <laughs> from Uni's fans. Let's go. Congratulations to all the participants of SGDQ 2019. We greatly admire all the time and effort everyone has put in to benefit Doctors Without Borders. All right, let's get started with these Wily stages. The Wily stages are tremendously difficult in pretty much any category of this game that you want to play. So Cool Kid, uh, he's going to do a nice little turnaround there. That's how he got that bird to spawn from the left side instead of the right side. Switch on over to item two. Again, he's going to try to get these placements as close to the wall as possible so as to not use any of the item two weapon energy. He got the first one, and he's going to go ahead and use item two as well to fly over this section. Nice jump there to avoid the toothpaste. <laughs> Does anyone like this song? Oh. <laughs> Does anyone like this song? All right, some, uh, some more of these tricky item three drops. Coming up. Where's the Okusen mom from the crowd? <laughs> yeah. All right, this is the trickiest one. Oh, he got it. All right, nice job there. And item one, Stairway to Heaven. All right, let's see if Cool Kid tries to get fancy here. 
Oh, oh yeah, you know it. He's, he's gonna jump good. off that last I'm item one. I almost went through the corner there. Uh, yeah, you gotta be careful. <laughs> I'm playing zipless though. Gotta be careful. <laughs> no zips. No zips. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and switching on over to Quick Boomerang. We're going to get to see some hardcore mashing here at the end. Got this fight with the dragon. This is one of my favorite things in this game, actually, because, like, the first time you're playing this game, like, you're already stressed out doing these little tile block jumps, and then all of a sudden this massive dragon appears behind you and is, like, chasing you. Mm -hmm. Such a great experience. Really, uh, really good job by the developers here. All right. Show here. us your mashing, cool kid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is some nice mashing right there. All right, so on into Wily 2. So Wily 2, there's a very long spike section at the beginning of the stage. Cool Kid, of course, is going to use item 2 to get past that. And the idea is he wants to have four weapon energy left for his item 2 because he's going to need it again in Wily 4, the most dangerous of all the Wily stages. Thankfully, there's this nice uh, weapon energy right there. Cool Kid able to save a little bit of time because he was able to conserve his item 2 earlier, so he's placed his item 2 before he got the weapon energy. Oops, a little low on ammo. A little low on ammo. That's okay. He can pick some up right here. There's a little uh, two spot, so no problem there. Switching on over to Flash. Uh, he's going to use this. There's a long hallway section here where the screwdriver enemies you saw in Metal Man stage would come out, but once you use the time stopper, you don't have to worry about any of that. Just a nice quick walk through the hallway here. And we're going to switch on over to item one now. It's the fastest way to get up there and uh, get over that crusher. We're going to take some intentional damage here. And let's see if he goes for this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he went for it. Okay, but at least he didn't die. You can die there very easily. He overshot it in the right way. If yes. he undershot yeah, it, undershot. he would have died. <laughs> so, that's oh, fine. That's I, totally I, fine. I've won it out so badly. <laughs> okay. It's, it's very slick good. when you land it. Yes, it does look look very, very nice. Uh, so this boss is completely scripted where these these come from. So Cool Kid knows exactly what's, what's coming up here. It's a pretty easy boss fight. Uh, one thing to note, though, is that if you do actually get hit in this boss fight, it deals a tremendous amount of damage. So you got to be a little bit careful. You don't want to, you don't want to get sloppy and uh, start taking hits. And that's well that. All right. So Wily Three was a stage that was purposefully put in so that we could have some donations read. So uh, <laughs> go ahead. All right. We've got hundred and fifty dollars from Modi. Was never good at Mega Man games, but always enjoyed watching and listening to the speed runs. Good luck to all the runners. How many fishes are we getting? Get your Saba pings ready, chat. <laughs> Is it going to be one, two, or zero? Make your guess. I'm going to go with one. Two. I heard someone say three. <laughs> <laughs> There's one. Oh, oh. There it is. Oh, the double. That's right. <laughs> you win this round, Cypher. <laughs> the fish is like cool case. He's, he doesn't kill them. <laughs> That's right. I've never killed a fish. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, uh, yeah, the main thing with this stage, you just got to avoid the spikes. That's all. And then uh, you got to avoid some potential drops in this hallway here. So you're going to see Cool Kid doing some, some jumps. Make sure he doesn't get the drops. No drop there. Nice. Oh, double no drop. It is Rockman 2, after all. True. All right, can he get the three jump? Let's find out. You got to mash hard. Oh, oh yeah. easily. All right. Let's go. Very well done. That's not easy to get him in three jumps there. Yeah, yeah, very, very tough. You gotta have good mashing, and you have to you have to time your mashing well. If you do it too early, you'll tank your shot off of the uh, the guy's hand. Yep. Okay, we're coming on into everyone's favorite stage, Wily Four, aka Purple Hell. It's pretty dangerous. A lot of bad things can happen in this stage. <laughs> cool kid. I, I accidentally used my E tank, but I should be okay. <laughs> you can accidentally use your E tanks in this game, even if you're like full health. But you usually don't need it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, the only place he'd potentially need it would be in this stage or in the, the next stage, refights. 
Nice very, fake floor. Very fancy with the fake floor there. So Cool Kid should have just enough item three. He wants he wants to have two left after this climb sequence so that he can use that in one of the spike screens. And it uh, looks like he's going to have plenty. Oops. Oh, oh, be fine. Maybe not. All I'll right. be fine. Okay. So now we're coming into the spike screens. Cool Kid's going to take some intentional damage here so that he can use his iframes to get across to the other side. Nice tight jump there to avoid that enemy. And of course, he's going to use the item three to make his way up here. And then he's going to be able to switch to item two. So again, this is one of those stages where you have to use all your items. All right, nice placement there. He's through that screen. Nice. And one more spike screen here. He's just got to get this item one. OK, nice. That always looks so tight. Yeah, it's very yeah. scary. All right, wasn't able to quite dodge that hit there, so he's going to have to be mindful of his health. OK, good. He avoided that guy. And he's got a tricky item one placement coming up at the start of the fight. Got it. Nice. All right, really well done there. And he got the double. Excellent. All right, so Cool Kid in good shape. He just needs to get one more double here. Very nicely done. All right, now he's going to go for the damage transfer. Oh. oh OK. Yeah, Interesting. Think... No damage transfer. Yeah. It's... He's going to be down. It was a good fight otherwise, but he's going to be down one crash bomb that he would ordinarily have. He usually has two crash bombs going into the machine fight at the end of these three fights. So it's going to make things a little more exciting. Cool Kid, he kind of has to manage his health a little bit differently. Can't go with a reckless abandon here. But he is going to be taking on Quick Man first. Quick Man, just as tough in refights as he was before. Uh, thankfully, you start with a little more health this time. But you still don't want to take too many hits. Oh, great start. Wow. Oh, this is really good. Oh, my oh, God. Beautiful fight. What a fight. That was amazing. Cool Kid took zero damage, and it was really fast. OK. That damage was intentional. Uh, cool Kid going to go for the task strat here on Woodman. This is a really tough one. Ah, okay, not quite. Yeah. That's all right. Took some intentional damage from the leaf there, but that deals only four, so he's OK. So hopefully Airman gives a good pattern. You can get a two cycle. That's uh, a... Oh, he got the first start. hit. Oh, but then he... Oh, ah, the teeth. Yeah. That was a really tricky pattern. Yeah. I'm that, not sure it was possible to get a two cycle there. Yeah, I don't know. That's I, I don't think so. Yeah, that was a it, tough one. It could have happened, but uh, <laughs> it's hard. Good old right. He-Man, still random. <laughs> so, Cool Kid, his health is okay, but he, he, he may or may not want to pick up a drop. We'll see. Very nice bubble fight. Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right. You want to say it? High metal, buy metal. <laughs> <laughs> it's tradition, I know you right? enjoy saying that. <laughs> Flash man is nice and easy. So Cool Kid elected to not take any health here. He'll be fine. Uh, he He'll should be, be fine. fine. Yeah, he's able. He's he's gonna dodge the first shot here. This is this is key. He just needs to dodge the first shot. All right, dodged it cleanly and got his crash bomb in. So now he just needs to mash. There Ooh, okay, got him. Got him. He could not afford to have taken another hit there. One more hit and he would have been down. Oh. So great job. This this pace is uh, this pace is good. Okay. This is a pretty this spicy been a pace great right run. now. Yeah. This has been a great run. <laughs> cool. So Wiley six, just one stage left. It's very eerily quiet in this stage, you know. Let's cool kid kind of think about how good his run has been. <laughs> it's all come down to this. <laughs> He's just got one more fight. He's got to take down the alien. <laughs> it is a tough fight. You have to you have to have really good mashing, and you have to time your mashing very well because you don't want any stray bubbles. You don't you don't want any of your bubbles to miss because okay. then you can't shoot as many bubbles. Time is as soon as he uh, his health bar is zero. So. All right, let's see that mash, cool kid.
Pretty good. Looking good. Time. Time. Amazing run. Incredible run. That's the 29 14, cool kid. How do you wow. feel about that? Yeah, that was good. That, that was, was pretty really good. good huh? That was really good. <laughs> yeah. Just shame that I didn't get the spike drop in Wiley, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That would have been cool. But that was great. That was uh, well underestimated. Now you're going to have more than enough time to. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, so just right Thank you, cool kid. Right here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great. Yeah, thank you all also very much for uh, yeah, watching, donating, and all that. Thank you. Thank you, cool kid. Yeah, thank you. Great job. All right, let's hear it again for Cool Kid for that amazing Mega Man 2 difficult zipless run. If I was half as good at a single screen as he was at all of them, I'd be a little bit bigger, better at Mega Man. Up next, we have a, an any percent run of Mega Man 3 by Colonel Fatso, but for right now, I'm going to toss it over to a quick Twitch ad. All right, welcome back to Summer Games Done Quick 2019, powered by Twitch. Right now, we're setting up for an any percent run of Mega Man 3, but for now, let's read some of the uh, donations we got during that last run. We have a $5 donation from a dog 125 I did my part for Celeste, and I'm not going to be able to watch Celeste, so what about you? And on that, on that topic, we do have another bonus game coming up later in the, in the day. TaskBot playing Celeste. Uh, we're still quite a way short. We're at $58,000 out of a $175,000 goal. Let's go ahead and get those donations in so we can see that amazing TaskBot run. We have a $250 donation from Nakasumi. This goes to Task Plays Celeste. Task Block is always fun to watch. My favorite games get completely obliterated. Let's go. We have a $150 donation from Ben S50. Hello from the United Kingdom. It's Friday. It's payday. Huge thank you to all the runners and admins who make this such a fantastic event. We have a $50 donation from Gals Got Moxie. Mega Man 2 was one of my favorite games of all time, and I loved watching it get destroyed. Cheers to Cool Kid. We have $50 from Dan57. I absolutely loved the Celeste run last year. I hope I get to see it again. Just want to mention some of the other challenges we have upcoming. 
Uh, we have the Dark Souls Glitch Exhibition. Uh, still need quite a bit for that. We have uh, 7,700 out of 60,000 for that. Um, that will be after the Dark Souls run later today. Um, and we also have a challenge to meet for some transistor bonus scenes. So if you want to see any of that, make sure to get your donations in. We have a $100 donation from Marcus Sparks. Great speed runs this year. Sadly, I'm at work today and I'll miss the Mega Man block. Good luck and save the animals. We have a $40 donation from Metal Knickers. Had to donate during the Mega Man block to show my love to my favorite small robot son. Shout outs to Dave, Bay, Echo, and all my Discord buds. Also, never forget to save the animals. We have a $50 donation from Juck. Mega Man Block is always an amazing time. Super difficult games made to look simple. So entertaining. We have a $6 donation for, from Verdura KH. Thanks for, for the good job so far and keep it up. Let's get the donations rolling. <laughs> 